Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Railway Empire. In the previous episode, we basically began to operate some extra trains to keep up with the industrial demand, as well as building some new industries in a couple of our cities. But in this episode, we're just going to keep doing that, as basically is trying to get the rest of the cities up to par. For example, Seattle. It's not a very big city, but... A little bit of work can fix this problem. Let's see. What's to do? What to do? Oh, you gotta be joking. Oh! When do you know? Those coaches that I mentioned in the beginning of the series. Those coaches from the 19... 1890 to 1910 era? Fortunately, they're able to... I guess they work now, like, like five years after the beginning of the 1910 to 1930 era. Let's add the Stoker, let's get an Aventor on board, and a Market Crier, let's just put it into Comfort. Rail Network Breaks Record, over 230,000 miles of track, made 106... Eight, Hundred and six thousand dollars in profit. Now Seattle is basically doing fine, but it needs some more cargo. But the town of Baker City needs more supplies. Well, technically, it needs to be big enough for another industry. Because if I deliver clothing to Seattle, that can really help out. Plus. There's going to be no, there hasn't been any iron ore traffic to Baker City. One of the old mod O660s can handle that job for a little while. Let's see, conductor. They think. For Seattle to grow, I need to at least deliver some fruits, clothing, milk, a cob, sugar, meat, corn. Portland. Portland, Oregon is bustling, but I, my weaving factories are not as efficient. And at the same time, I want to operate a secondary train to clone that to then basically get these trains delivery to make more cloth available for my customers. Surprisingly, my Mikado is actually a fast freight for some of our Even though it's not a fast freight engine for any means. And as much as my Rogers engineers are capable of handling these passenger cars, they're just finding it difficult to handle this little time of coach now. It means eventually I'll have to replace them with something else. The only other engines available I can get is the Berkshire, the Malay, and the Mountain class. Professor, might as well get some extra cash. Let me see. What else can I expand and grow? Well, San Antonio does need some more cargo, because I feel like it's going to go below 50% of satisfaction. I'll build a sidetrack here at the White Manor to help deliver fruit in. And then connect it to the main line here. With that connection made, by the a prairie can deliver the loads of fruit to San Antonio. There we go. Prairie, refrigeration car, Oops. Let's see. Hmm. Houston needs grain, but there hasn't been any grain deliveries. Though vegetables are going through. Speaking of which, there hasn't been any fruit deliveries to Houston at all. I think it's probably time to fix that. Build a bridge over the river. Hmm. And then connect here. And 
connect Houston and with the prairie, I can now deliver fresh fruit. That will really help Houston out immensely. Let's see. Jeez, my McConnells are just so busy with their work today. Let's see. Chief Engineer, no bonuses. Three months left for my cryer to work on promoting passenger usage. But with this prairie, fruit is gonna help Houston grow a little bit. Plus, the one of my furniture factories needs more lumber. But the lumber is not being produced as quickly enough. So, 16.4 is the maximum I can do. And we, made a, and we had a $187,000 loss. Great. Trains loading? Which one will that be? Oh, it's the mail service. And what stop is it at? It's heading back, so it's going through Casper. So... I guess I'll basically just continue mail between Miles City and Casper on the route. But how am I supposed to basically transport the mail through? So, mail that needs to get through, through Bismarck. Let's see. Ugh. And then add that. <clears throat> and then basically add a waypoint through here. That will allow the train to travel through the mountain line into Salt Lake. And then on the return trip from Salt Lake, it will travel through this waypoint. That way, preventing the train from traveling. United States joined war. We're now in World War One, which means that we have a lot of work to do. Let's see. Any changes to the mail schedule? Well, for one, the stop in Miles City is not being put onto the map. So the cities, besides, one mail car can be handled by the local passenger trains. think. Is there any mail between Yon City to Casper? There is, but there's just no cars available. Actually, no, I think there is. But I think it probably might just be I just really don't know. Your prayer. Let's just put it on the mail so we can basically get and let's add the mountain class at your door. Oh, if you may notice, my icon for Dr. Murphy is now something a little different. That's because it's nearly Halloween. And every year, there's basically a seasonal event going on for every character in the game Railway Empire. Well, basically, the people you choose as your character. So... They basically all are in Halloween costumes. Truly rig near Albuquerque. I do not have a connection there, and I basically now have to restart on my route building. Let's see. Minneapolis, Bismarck, Miles City to Casper, Salt Lake City, up to Wanamuka, but use the route this way to go back to Salt Lake City. Carson City, down to San Francisco, back up to Wanabuka. And then use this route again. Hang on. 
get rid of that waypoint, go from Salt Lake City again, Casper, Miles City, Bismarck, Minneapolis, Chicago, Detroit, Pittsburgh, and finally New York City. And now we have a coast to coast freight. And perfect time to use our new 482 Mountain Class engine. Let's put a stoker with speed up and security bonus. And let's get started on a southern freight. Traveling down south through the drought. Throughout these cities. Odessa to El Paso. Tuscan. Kingman. Hmm. Nah. I don't think that'll do pretty well. Let's just go through San Antonio. Then for Tuscan, Kingsman, Los Angeles, and then San Francisco, and then the same way back. Hopefully, there's no, going to be no such thing as extra spare. Nope, everything looks fine. And now let's put in Coast to Coast Freight Southern. And we have a $937,000 loss. Ugh. But, again, to be frightened about, my company is basically doing extremely well. And now for the Northern Route. Through Pittsburgh, then Toledo, Chicago, Minneapolis, Bismarck, Miles City, Casper, Salt Lake City. Hmm. Actually, hmm. Now that I think about it, why isn't there a Y to allow trains to travel from Casper down to Baker City? Actually, let's just at replace that station. And Baker City, then Seattle. And then basically take the same route back. Because once I build that new connection track, trains will be automatically be rerouted on that line. And let's put in Coast to Coast Freight North. And then put in the little type engine. And then let's get started on building that little bit of extension. This is going to be a bit of a tight squeeze to get this connected. But with this connection done, let's see you on. Let's see. That Portland, that coast to coast freight is not doing really pretty well. Now, let's start with a passenger train between these two cities. Casper to Baker City, passenger. And since our Pacifics are still being used for the top link passenger services, I think the Rogers Tin Wheeler will be our best choice. Put in the in. Put her in. And then start with a freight train for between these two cities, but neither of them. Baker City is not big enough for any new industry yet. So that means no freight train for right now. No suitable freight available. That's for the Norris mine to Baker City. Oh, there's plenty of coal and iron ore in the city. think let's just basically put as a special freight and 
then pick up some meat. There we go. That should help out. It's... Oh yeah, tool factory. Forgot about that. It needs iron ore, so... Let's see. Do I have any iron ore trains traveling on this lot? Only one. Let's just basically add another train. And let's see. What did this... Let's just basically put in a hotel in for our passengers. And our new service between Kemsford and Baker City. Let's lower that ticket price a bit. So we basically have 115% of po popularity with our passengers and have a 91% average price on ticket revenue. And we carried, basically, in all lines, 18,344 passengers. That is actually pretty decent. Let's see, Stoker, Conductor. Still nothing. Hmm. Express from Charlotte to Jacksonville. Huh. Don't we already have one? Oh wait, I don't think we do. This will be an opportunity that I'm not going to miss. Yep, there is actually no freight train traveling, passenger train traveling on this line. Neither is there a freight. Switching the destinations. And then putting the Mikado in charge. I really want to get this extra. The conversation I should first. Fans accepted as a major power. Huh. Another newspaper from the Japan DLC. Which reminds me, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear this, you might want to skip to the time skip down below. But basically, in future, I will be continuing this series and doing a, several century eras and other maps, including the other DLCs. Oh, great. Oh. Actually... Let's just... Let's just basically add a supply tower to the state of the areas outside of the station. And delete this one in the center. That way, every train won't have to worry about that. Express bonus. Corn farm near Sioux. Cotton farm near Sioux Falls. Not connected. But the express meter is not high up. The conductor, passenger bonus. Your comfort. War in Europe ends. Treaty Versailles signed. But I'm basic. But my railroad, however, is still under the control of the United States Railroad Administration. At least until next year. So, basically, no intervention with any of my trains for right now. Bad condition. That's the New York to Pittsburgh freight. Where did it last stop? Bismarck. It could easily have been maintained there. Or any of my stops along the route. <sighs> oh well. But still, though, it would be quite nice to see this big engine continue its long trip. Standard railroad time. That'll increase my passenger. Well, increase my earnings on freight trains by 4%. 
hang on. Was it supposed to make a stop in Miles City? I guess not. I don't know why it didn't stop there. Right on the tick. Now that 1920s arrived, now White Railroad is ready to accept the post-war economic boom. My trains are basically keeping up with the times, and my passengers are exploding. Plus, some of my cities are now accepting upgrades. Well, not bad for me. I can still use faster. People still want to ride my trains, but with automobiles, drive cutting around. I might have a concerning fact that my passenger numbers will start to decline. Speaking of which, I'm surprised I still have one of the first generation consolidations on my I'll need to replace that engine. Let's see. Let's have a look at the locomotives I have. I have 60 Meccanos, 4 Pacifics, 6 Five old mods, four mountain class engines, 84 Rogers, 10 wheelers, 149 Prairies, 19 Mastodons, four class Bs, Rochers, three Atlantics, one D12, six B class Bs, two class C Shays, and one regular consolidation. And a Columbia, too. But, however, even with all of this, I'm still surprised that it will nearly be a century since our railroad began. And I can't wait to see what will happen once we hit the year 1930. But, in hindsight, I think this will be a good ending point for our episode today. So if you liked this episode of my Let's Play Railway Empire, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, as well as subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries, where I'll be uploading new videos every Friday at 12 o'clock p.m. Central Standard U.S. Time. This is Texas Gaming Industries saying thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!